Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna do a video on the F-150. So we're gonna be changing out the driver's side blinker light housing. So the whole assembly we're gonna be changing out and replacing. It's completely cracked on that truck, so we're just gonna get it swapped out and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so this is that light. Um, you can tell the whole lens is missing. Um, it just looks like crap. This is what it's supposed to look like. So this is a brand new one I've already replaced. Um, so we'll go ahead and get this one swapped out for a new one. First things first, you're gonna go ahead and pop the hood. Little latch under here pulls to the left, and then you can lift the hood up. All right, so we've got the hood open. Um, right on the top of the light, you can see a little screw right there. Um, so this is gonna be a T20 Torx bit, or you can use the hex. I believe it's a 10 millimeter hex. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and use a Torx bit on an extension. So I've just got my ratchet here, an extension, and then the T20 Torx bit. So we'll go ahead and drop that down in there and loosen that bolt all the way out. So we'll pull that little screw out. Um, now the light should be free. Um, we can actually just grab it and pull it forward. There's just some little clip tabs um, that clip in. Um, so just use um, a fair bit of force and just pull it forwards. All right, so this light is free now. Um, in order to get this cable out, you have to actually twist it counterclockwise and then it'll come straight out. On the passenger side, if you're doing that one, um, it's mirrored, so twisting it counterclockwise actually makes it run into this bolt right here, or uh, this little stud. So you have to actually take the electrical connection off right here, and there's two tabs that pull outwards on both sides. Um, if your truck's as old as mine, it's gonna be super brittle, uh, so you have to just carefully separate those just enough to slide off, and then you can pull the electrical connection out. Um, being on this side, we don't actually have to do that because counterclockwise would make it rotate away from the stud. Um, so we'll go ahead and twist this counterclockwise clockwise and then we should be able to pull the light out all right so here's the old one here's the new one we're gonna go ahead and throw that one in all right so we're just gonna go ahead and twist this bulb back in the same way um, we'll just put it in and then twist clockwise and it'll tighten up um, and then we can just go ahead and slide the light back into place slider um, it'll slide right into there and then the pin's going to go down into that little plastic hole right there and then you'll see up here when you push the light in you'll be able to see that little screw hole line up all right so we've got that light pushed in and then right down in here you can see uh, the little screw holes lined up Put our little screw back onto the Torx bit um, and then drop it down in there carefully. Line it up in there and then you can just go ahead and screw it in. All right, you definitely don't want to do it too tight, um, just do it nice and snug. So there the light is installed. Now it looks normal on both sides. All right guys, that's it for this video. Uh, pretty short and simple there. Um, Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching, um, and we'll see you in the next one.